Hello Summoners, welcome back to the channel and in this video we're gonna do another tier list update for the month of January and the first tier list of the year we didn't get any buffs this month but we did get two new champions Sauron and also Toad who are being a little bit better in my opinion we're gonna talk about them a little bit later we have also made other changes and uh, added some of these emojis if you missed last month's video we also have a synergies tab now because if you come here you see some champion uh, who needs some synergy like let's say saber tooth and then you're wondering what synergy that is you can go here and you can see it's with sasquatch and you know uh, the best way to do this is going to aunt may you can see all the synergies present uh, for that character so that is definitely the better way but if you just want to see what i'm talking about here why is someone like iron fist in the same tier as uh, these other champions who are pretty good it is because we are considering him with synergies and with synergies he is uh, he hits really, really hard he has the stun lock potential as well and i've seen people use him against like axis opponents as well like this guy without synergies i think in the last year list he was here in this category but with synergies if you are going to consider it he is considerably better same can be said for someone like black bolt uh, i know a person who finished a best of legends easy path and used black bolt as a main Aegon replacement it probably wasn't the best uh option like the second best option or anything but i have personally soloed a couple of fights with black bolt in abyss of legend and he is pretty insane uh with the right synergies and uh, if you are wondering what those synergies is you can come here you can take a look for yourself so yeah with that being said let me just scroll down the list because otherwise a lot of people miss these champions and um, they think they are missing uh, and they ask me in the comment section if you want to take a look at the tier list for yourself you can do so i will be leaving a link to the spreadsheet in the description and also the pinned comment if i remember and that is a big if but let's talk about the latest characters so sauron added yesterday i kind of wait for the second character to be added before making my tier list but um, yeah honestly like he for a defender he's pretty good on offense but as an attacker uh, his kit he, he has a lot to offer but at the same time the damage output uh, it's not noodle range it's not anything special and um, utility wise as well like they are just better mutant champions you can see mutant class is just so stacked that investing resources in a character like soren again for defense maybe but for offense doesn't really make sense in my opinion which is why he is here the heavy attack thing uh, you can get fury it lasts for very very for a very short time and when you use a heavy attack you knock down the open and they have to stand up again you have to find an opening and by that time your fury is over and uh, you can be unblockable as well but even then you have to like manage a lot of timings and it feels like all the timings all the rotations it, it, the damage at the end doesn't feel like it's worth it whereas with some characters like let's say nemo <laughs> how many symbols does nemo need by the way in my opinion i have rank 3 nemo i don't use him that much he's not sick 200 to be fair uh, but getting six star six stones is so re uh, hard but nemo he has not been aging well but that's not really the point i get distracted so easily nemo uh, i was talking about the ramp up so yeah you ha and you need a little bit of ramp up but after that the special two damage is so good that it feels worth it and the same can be said for a lot of champions like Aegon in the first fight pretty underwhelming but after the build up very very good so there is ramp up and after that it feels satisfying so it's fine but with him personally i just didn't think the numbers were uh, again he's not a bad character which is why he's literally in the middle of the list but these days you know a lot of these champions they get buffed and they are then better than champions like sauron and that, that's the way i feel about these champions like i don't really care i won't really uh, grind or to, to get them or you know get calves to get them or be extremely happy if i get them but at the same time i wouldn't be disappointed and i definitely would take it like you can't really do anything about it anyways toad he uh he, his damage output is better than sauron like if we compare it, i compare him with magneto if i remember correctly he both have prowess and stuff the damage output was nice a lot of burst damage on the sp2 and um, um overall i think 
Toad is a little bit better than Sorin, but at the same time, again, compared to these champions, these mutant, he, I, I still wouldn't give him like a mutant T5CC and stuff because of how so many other champions are just better. But uh, then coming to the changes, we have Iron Fist. We talked about that, I think. I don't even know. I have done like this is 18th take or something. Uh, sometimes I forget if I have talked about this on before or not. But then uh, Rogue Rogue got a tear bump. She was here hanging out with X23 Jubilee and Old Man Logan. Old Man Logan himself got a bump up because uh, we added the synergy tab, and uh, he I think has a synergy with Sabretooth that increases his healing a lot. And uh, I had the list on my phone, and my phone just turned off. So I guess we'll have to. Uh, we'll, we'll make do. But uh, old man Logan, his regeneration increases a lot with the synergy. So that's why he got a bump up. And then Rogue, she has aged really, really well. She still has power control. She still has, uh, has regeneration. She can now uh, shrug off the evils quicker. So a lot of like overall the newer characters they may have better utility they may might be better for a lot of other situations but there are still situations where rogue is very very good uh for example the node i'm forgetting the name but uh where you get a lot of like flare nodes nodes like that you know you get more attack uh and you only deal like special attack damage or something maybe like power shield usp1 is going to do a lot of damage your regeneration is proportional like clairvoyant rogue champions like that are obviously one of the best for those parts and even otherwise like rogue can still do a lot of fights in the game if you have a and uh, yeah next moving on we have mr negative and spider-man 2099 both were upgraded i think we came out uh, in the same month uh, i'm not sure i think so uh, but uh, they were both I, I don't have them in my main account i've been hearing a lot about spider-man 2099 in alliance form that he's really really good for that and mr negative also has a lot of potential so those two were buffed one tier miles morales i have my eyes on him he might also get a buff now uh, like not a buff uh a bump up tier wise uh, i guess <laughs> so other other than that uh, i hulk was buffed up one tier like i remember when this guy came out it's been more than a year now but um a lot of people were not happy with him but at this point i guess you can say he is the best hulk character he is very very useful like whenever i, I make a lot of uh, lists like top 25 lists and stuff and he manages to be in quite a few of them so this champion he is user friendly he jesus pretty much a lot of fights and the damage output uh, he's a little bit stressful to play for me at least i don't use him that much i have him at rank 2 but whenever i do use him and if i have massive amount of rage stacks and stuff whatever they're, they're called the damage you do is pretty insane and like after special 2 you get a combo in and you are doing a lot of red numbers so i i, I do like i hulk and next we have white magneto getting a bump up very rare that mutant champions are uh, upgraded to a next tier but white magneto i think he deserves it the damage output is very very nice one is like for medium short fights one sp1 and one sp2 will usually finish it off for longer fights there is a sp3 rotation as well on top of everything he brings in so much utility especially with this pre-fight it's very very strong uh the passive stun and also the extra attack rating so uh for all hashtag hero and metal champions i think so that that covers a lot of champions uh so yeah white magneto i think he deserves his spot here uh and he's not as good as the red one but at the same time he's still very very good and i would still rank him up actually there is um i'm gonna give him this emoji as well because he does i was just talking uh, like yesterday's video was about white magneto and he does need uh, like red magneto if you have him on weekend no problem it's fine the weekend ability is nice a little extra damage but you don't need it white magneto is actually a pretty big difference uh, so i think he needs to be awakened he also needs a sig if i remember correctly 
but uh, that's pretty much gonna do it for this one we didn't get that many bars so i don't want to keep you here for very long this is the list i'm gonna scroll down one more time gonna scroll down to synergies i've added some synergies like again um, iron fist and i think we didn't have winter soldier killmonger one uh, if you don't know it kind of makes him a poor man star lord and star lord in today's date in marvel contest of champions kind of like a poor man's egon so yeah <laughs> like winter soldier with killmonger synergy is um, not uh, not gonna be very very useful especially like in end game content and stuff but maybe you just want to get through realm of legends you don't have a star or you don't have a con winter soldier but killmonger synergy can get it done and um we didn't have the kingpin one somebody asked in the last like whenever i make the new tier list i go and see the comments of the last one if people suggested and things so if you think uh, any champion should be upgraded or downgraded do let me know in the comment section down below and uh, i will um like I, I have to agree if i agree then i will make the changes otherwise not um but uh, somebody commented what's the synergy with kingpin so it's hood and also mr sinister mr sinister one i really like the power lock and stuff and uh, other than that i think uh, we did we also added iron man infinity war and sell spidey it makes him much better in my opinion M much less stressful to play increases the duration of uh, the plasmas i wish uh, silver centurion also had that synergy and then the Mysterio Penny Parker synergy was also not included. I think he might actually get a buff, uh, like bump up in the tier because of that. I still have to play around with it a little bit more. It kind of makes him like a cable kind of thing. Uh, a lot of damage over time. I did a comparison between him and cable. I think we'll have to go and see the results and his performance because I don't have Penny Parker. So I... I don't know but do let me know if you think mysterio with the penny parker synergy should get a bump up in the tier list but uh, yeah that's gonna do it for this one thanks for watching honey nice day subscribe to the channel for more content like this video share with your lions stay safe have a good one and bye bye